allemaal welkom. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to this moment of the press conference with the head coach Frank de Boer and uh, Georgie Wijnaldum. Heinen can man of the match chosen. That's the reason why he brought in the trophy. Please ask your questions so we do not lose any more time. Who would like to start? Martin Weifels from the Dutch press. He raised his hands. We tried to make a connection, Martin. Normally this should work. There you go, Martin, go ahead. Congratulations, uh, both of you. Oh, question for you, with Jorginho. I was riding with the game. First 30 minutes you were running through the penalty area and you had some five opportunities. What happened there? Martin, I think the last part of your question got lost. Well, I mentioned that during only 30 minutes he went five times into the penalty area for... It could have happened that he had five opportunities to create a goal. Was this the, your meaning? Uh, did you want to come like that? Yeah, yes, of course, this is the response uh, by Nalman. Uh, every game you need to have uh, more players in the penalty area. In the penalty area. I tried to be uh, one of the best options for my uh, teammates. Try to try to make space uh, so then I can get the ball or try to create space so other players can receive the ball. Each game I try to do so, but during a game there can be some situations and uh, in this game uh, with Northern Macedonia some things happened differently than in other games. Uh, today these opportunities came up, so of course, yes, that's the reason why I came in their penalty area that much. Well, if you would uh, talk about this uh, game and when you compare it or you face the rest of the tournament, what can you tell about this game? It's a game in which they uh, try to test you and we need to uh, show how sharp we are and uh, as well as a team it's a game like that you do not play for the result since it's already there uh, you play for a lot of people of course but um, we tried uh, to uh, focus on this game in a way that uh, we have uh, faced the first two games normally when you're at the club and you lose a game then you have one weak, uh, a bad feeling about that defeat, but in a tournament things are different. You play the game very quickly afterwards, uh, another one will be there, so that's why you need to play a good game and continue and not be too sloppy. Let's go with, to the next question, Jochem. Congratulations to the both of you. I have a question for you, Frank. Frank. Has this game brought you some new ideas about the uh, uh, players and if so, can you tell us which ideas or what ideas? Well, not really new ideas. I think that we had some great moments during the game, but also really bad ones, especially uh, in the first half we were sloppy. Like Martin just mentioned that uh, Gini uh, came into the penalty area a lot, uh, but some other midfields also played high on the pitch. So when you lose the ball then, then you can face a counter attack. Of course, that's normal. And during the second half, it went much better because we saw this happening and uh, we talked about it during half time uh, but uh, when you look at the combination between uh, Malen and Memphis you could uh, see that uh, there are three players or I have to say two who have not played the full 90 minutes and now they did so at the end of the day I think uh, we can be very positive and I feel really good about it so the combination Memphis and Malen you can be happy about them right yes uh, but I already knew this and uh, on the forehand I knew that they can uh, play together very well and uh, they have a great combination there's a dynamic between them but also Wout he has done nothing wrong so uh, he tries to uh, conquer the ball from the other opponent uh, he also had some really some sprints during the game and as a coach I have to see and think about what do we need during the next game so first of all we need to know who will be the opponent and after that we can think about the players who will play 
Simon, next question for you, Football International, Dutch Magazine. Congratulations to both of you, for you, Frank. Well, Macedonia uh, came very really close and they crossed the midfield. How can you uh, try to avoid such things against opponents who will look for this as well? Well, there are two things. Uh, the first thing I already mentioned, uh, Gininho, who, when he plays high on the pitch, and Frankie, the other midfielder, he's also playing high on the pitch, and that you have no defense left. Uh, when you get sloppy and you need to be focused, when the concentration is lost, yeah, you can face a counter-attack, that's uh, normal, you already know that. Uh, it happens when you uh, play like that. And during the half-time, uh, during the break, I also told this to my players, we need to improve and we need to focus more and be better. Um, take a look at where are the other midfielders, can I um, uh, play more in an attacking way or do I need to defend uh, when the ball possession is lost, for example? You need to look at the defense first and make sure that everything is all right. And so, yes, I think this is really important and we need to, uh, we need to work on it. You also need uh, to realize that uh, this is normal, but when you win a duel or not to, uh, to lose the ball and you give everything, sometimes you get a, a yellow card and, and now there were some players who did not want to receive the, the yellow card, of course, they didn't want to get booed since they uh, uh, reached the next round, they, they will be uh, cancelled, so the players might be thought about it as well, and I think this was also a reason why we got a dangerous counter-attack. José Barroso, L'Equipe from France, go ahead. Yes, hello. hello. Uh, question hello. to Gini. Uh, you scored twice again tonight and you ran and you caught balls and you created chances. Is there something that you, you cannot do? And uh, are you comfortable with all those duties? Thank you. I think that I can do it. I think that all is I think there are a lot of things that I cannot do. A lot of players, they have their own qualities, they bring their own qualities, some others do not have those and I think this goes for me as well. So, uh, to get back on the question, uh, if I'm happy with the things I need to do, well, I do whatever is asked for me to perform better as a player, but also to make the team better. This is what I do. So, yes, I think that uh, when all the players do so, we can become a great team. So, I don't uh, think that uh, if I should be happy or it's a thing like that, then you should think about it in that way. But no, we need to perform the best way we can and uh, so the team will perform at its best. And I say the Dutch newspaper, next question, but the uh, mute does not work. Uh, I'm really sorry, and so we'll get back to you later. Yeah, Next question uh, for the Dutch uh, newspaper. Uh, question for you, Jeannie. Memphis has a really good numbers. I, really, I saw you twice running by and you gave him a big hit on my shoulder as a friend. I'm really sorry I could not hear the old question since there was a lot of noise, the journalist. I think Memphis is doing well. Sometimes other things uh, didn't work out as other games he has played before. But this is Memphis and the player who he is. He takes a lot of risks and there's a lot of risks in the, games, in the way he plays. But that's the reason why he's such a good player. So as a team, we have to um, support him and... Uh, so he can become only better. That's where is his strength, his creativity, and he tries to take advantage of this in the best way possible. Sometimes things go wrong, but many times they work out well. So, mm, yes, maybe uh, he is not playing in the best way, or as you have seen, but he is still really important for the team. So, I don't think you should make this uh, bigger than it is uh, or a big thing out of it. Uh, of course, we have to improve, work on it. Memphis also knows that he can do better, but I don't want, or we as a team do not want that he takes this as a problem or um, does not do it because it's his strength. 
Uh, Frank, uh, to continue on this, uh, how important is it for you that he feels uh, well and uh, because he is the player who during the tournament uh, probably can make a difference. So when you look how, the way he plays with Malen and you compare this to the way he plays with um, Rechors, no, but I think that with uh, Val Dechors, he also performed really well. He's another type of player. It's another its own style who plays more as a full striker in the center of the pitch. Uh, they can change their position. But you also have to know what do we need. You have to know what is the opponent and sometimes you about is uh, better uh, when you consider the opponent so i also take memphis in account and vote as well and so you need to decide uh, during the uh, coming week who will play i will uh, bring in the best 11 maybe this means that it's not the best player but it will be the best team and um, the player who will perform best is the player who has the most opportunity to play next question i think so i think it works now the connection uh, Jorginho, question to you a bit more positive than uh, a little bit earlier you have been called as the perfect pair of players you have been really important as a pair of players is there some special connection between you yes there is i feel a special connection with memphis uh, i have to say that we are playing for a really long period uh, together first at PSP. Yeah, and then uh, in the Dutch team, so there is a connection. But also the team, they have been supporting us uh, to be um, decisive and have a great production uh, when you talk about goals, but also uh, when it comes to assists or important passes, they help us out really well and it makes it more easy to play. I do not think it's only Memphis and me, I think there are more players who can make a difference. So now it's uh, the two of us, but it can be other players. The first two games we had, Denzel, who was really decisive. And the second game, there was Malen, who gave the pass to uh, Memphis. So this connection is uh, present with some more players as well. But of course, in the past, we uh, had scored many goals in, uh, as well today a goal and then an assist so uh, it's normal that you they look at us but you have to take in account as well the uh, the whole quality as a team one more question Rieke. the question is uh, for you last question question Frank. congratulations 4-3-3 in the second half, uh, do you think this uh, can continue? Will it go well? Well, it depends. Uh, if I think this is necessary, then we will. 4-3-3, um, it doesn't really matter. It depends how you fill this in. Now Steven Berghuis is there on his uh, position, uh, normally it could be Denzel Dumfries and on the other side uh, it stays the same with Patrick van Aan playing high on the pitch, uh, we also uh, try to um, attack from the back on the pitch uh, with some uh, defensive players who can play higher on the pitch as well. So it depends and it's all about how we fill the system in and how we defend. But it's true that um, the strategy or the dynamics in the team, they change. So when you have a um, wing back player as a winger attacking player, you need to go back and defend. You need to, to take this into account and we already knew this. But uh, we already knew that we could fill it in perfectly. But we have to understand that for Northern Macedonia, this was their third game. Uh, we, I think, are a bit more used to playing more games. So the second half it became more easy. I think this was normal. So we uh, took advantage of it uh, with beautiful attack. So would you say this is plan B that you can uh, implement during a game or do you think it can be uh, plan A and you start a game with that? Oh yes, of course, uh, why not? Yeah, but it's good to know that uh, the players are ready for it. Um, if I talk about Quincy or Stephen or whoever. The thing is that for a coach it's good to know.
Thank you. Okay, thank thanks you, a lot. Rieke, and thank you, all the other thank you Rieke, and uh, thanks as well, everybody who being present. I hope that uh, we can see you again here in Seist. Thanks a lot. Good evening. Bye bye.